Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> Sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Help! Somebody, please! Help! That sword. You're some kind of... That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a... That sword. That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you... We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please!
She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. We need to get her breathing again. Stephanie, help! God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. And there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Oh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum -dum 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 <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. That girl certainly something, isn't she? Thanks so much, you guys. Those were some fancy moves. My name's Priscilla, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh! And Mr. Dolphin says thanks, too. Thanks so much, you guys. Those were some fancy moves.
only kids allowed in here. No grown-ups. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Thanks again. She would have been in deep shit without you. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. What a relief this didn't turn out worse. Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. I tell you that much. When an old soul like me <laughs> says you ought to keep your feet on the ground. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Thanks to your efforts, this area has been fully surveyed. And yet, this is only... Th I'm excited to see what knowledge awaits us elsewhere. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Chocobo Express! <laughs> what can I do you for? <laughs> Don't be a stranger. I'm looking for a quality harpoon. There you go. I'm always looking for new spots, so if you happen to know any... Brittle houses in the sea air. the heroes of the hour i heard about what you did for that girl thank you so much your stay is on us we insist it's the least we can do for you really now then how many we got will four rooms be enough uh, could you make it five five it is oh everything is comped so if you need anything at all just ask don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, 
When was the last time that happened? It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid. What do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Rest up while you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at 7th Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Gotta wonder what Shinra's planning up there. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Yes. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. My poor nose. <laughs> my poor nose. 
poor nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? in early tonight. You ought to get some sleep too. Think I'll turn in early tonight.
guys. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Hmm. Uh, Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out, Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. 
We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town, and never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Sides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. Got Shinra on speed dial. So if my dog gets hurt, you get hurt. You mind hurrying it along? I just want to put this whole business to bed. Got Shinra on speed dial. So if my dog gets hurt, you. We're recruiting for Crows Against
Welcome. Need some rooms? I was sure a fight was gonna break. Did you see the guy on the motorcycle? You wouldn't believe how quiet these were. Special delivery coming in. I guess there's some oil, coal, is it? Brittle house. Back in the day, it was lousy. that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But... 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. I didn't need it. Since I was trying to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you did not <laughs> That's what scares me. 
As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, more me. Oh, be my girl forever. Deal with that. This is my turn! <laughs> Get home. Here goes. One more oh. shot. Tagging out. My turn. Feeling chilly? Shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey! I got it. 
Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire! What are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Uh, Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Oh. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, yeah, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. I think my mom knew about me and Claire, and the baby. Once you're out of there, you'll go pay your grandma a visit. You think my mom knew about me and Claire, and the baby? I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. We despise Shinra just as much as you do. 
But with a baby on the way, it's hard to offer aid to the Resistance. Still, if there's anything we can do to ensure a brighter future for our child, just say the word. I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the Grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So? You gonna help, or...? Me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd end up becoming best buds with Avalanche. The lighthouse isn't far. It's right on the Cape. Be careful out there. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd end up becoming best one. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but getting out the wires and lines is getting old quick. Well, better get used to it. La 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 la. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian. Representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. Would you care to share a performance with me? here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Ooh, 
Oof. Savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity? You'll at least stick around to listen, right? One day you'll be able to brag about playing a game with me. You'll see. Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the crow's nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Nothing like a match after a sick jam session. You'll at least stick around to listen, right?
this newsletter is looking. No one here brave enough to challenge me. <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. What? Don't tell me you've lost your nerve. Allow me to convey to you the true spirit of Queen's blood.
wrong? I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Queen's blood is more complex than I had ever imagined. I cannot thank you enough for this lesson. What? Don't tell me you've lost your nerve. Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? You're welcome to come back anytime. Just say the word if you want to go around. A round or two would really help the cause.
That was great! See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone! You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. Let's spread the word about Queen's Blood together. You're welcome to come back anytime. Just say the word if you want to go around.
Don't overdo it. So it's <laughs> One more shot! Here's up for some magic. We'll make it quick. 